welcome back to my channel i am shannon moore and this week is going to be a very special week i am coming to you all from good old georgia visiting my mom here and there are a couple of items that i want to do to decorate her place so i'm going to go ahead and get started with that my very first project is i'm going to be making a elephant glass tray um, to go on her living room table so i'm going to get started with that first and then I think of something else to do tomorrow. As I walk through the house, I just look at different things, um, blank spaces on walls, spots where I can fill up. I know for a fact this big empty wall behind me is definitely on my to-do list. So, um, But first I'm gonna start with the tray for her table and some coasters. I'm gonna be adding coasters to her table as well. Last night her and I um, enjoyed a glass of wine together. It's been a very long time since I've been able to spend time with my mom, so that was special. But she didn't have any coasters and um, we used paper towels so that um, we wouldn't damage her brand new wooden table with the sweating of our glasses. So I'm gonna be working on a tray, an elephant tray. She loves elephants. When I give you the tour through her living room, you will see for yourself, they are literally everywhere. Starting with that on the wall and that on the wall. There are elephants everywhere in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, get to work on that. So if you guys are interested in watching this journey with me and decorating a brand new space that I've never been in before, um, this is our first time visiting her. And I'm excited. I'm really excited to do this. I want to try to get as much work as I can get done on these projects while she's at work because she's still working uh, while we're here visiting. And that way there's a new project to surprise her when she comes in the door every day that we're here. So that's my plan. So stay tuned. And if you're interested, keep watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share me with family and friends. And let's get this project on a go. So I'm going to be starting out with these items here to make my treat. I got all of them from the Dollar Tree. The elephants were from the Dollar Tree. I got four of them. I also have a Jenga game set that I got from the Dollar Tree. This 11 by 14 inch frame also came from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the frame for this project, so I'm going to spray paint it uh, with the rest of my items as well, just in case. I've got my silver diamond bling wrap, my hot glue gun, X-Acto knife, and E6000. So here I've done my first coat of my rose gold metallic spray paint that I got from Walmart. It was $3.94 in Walmart. I also went ahead and spray painted my coasters that I'm going to be using and a love sign. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but all of these items came from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted them. I'm going to let them dry and then come back, check them, and then apply another coat if necessary. Starting with my coasters, I'm going to be using my E6000 glue and my flat back gems. I used my E6000 and I started on the outer rim of my coaster and I'm going to apply down my flat back of crystal gems on top of there. I decided to use the medium sized gems that come in my pack.
I repeated this process working my way from the outside in until the entire coaster was filled. So for the edge of my coaster, I used a single strand of my silver diamond bling ribbon. I applied the E6000 down to the coaster, to the edge of the coaster, and then I laid the bling wrap on top of that. I originally wanted to use hot glue for this, um, but I didn't want it to make the edge of it bumpy. I wanted it to lay flat to the, to the edge of the coaster. So I only used the E6000 for this portion. I had time to let it sit and dry, so I didn't need the hot glue for the immediate hold. Now that all four of my coasters are done, I'm going to sit them to the side and let them dry. Make sure that using the E6000 that you wipe the bottom of your coaster for any leakage of the E6000. You don't want to sit it down to dry and then it attaches to whatever you're sitting it on. So make sure the bottom surface is clear. Now that my elephants are dry, I brought them inside and I am trying to mark the areas where they need to be in order for them to act as the legs of my tray. So I'm just placing them down, seeing how they fit best. I wanted the glass to be as far up the back of the elephant as possible. So I've got them situated how I want them. I'm going to go in with my E6000 glue, put a bead of it on the very edge of the mirror, and then I'm going to sit it back down right on top of the elephants. I'm going to give this about an hour to dry and then I'm going to come back to finish my tray. Going in with the Jenga pieces that I spray painted as well. I'm going to use these to create the border of my tray. The glass is kind of sharp, so I figured this would give it a little bit of, of added protection. My Jenga pieces are not touching. I intentionally left, left gaps in between them. The only areas where they touch are right at the 90 degree corner um, of each side of the glass. Also the area where the elephants are. So right over the elephant's back is where the Jenga pieces completely meet. Every other space where the Jenga blocks are is just that a space. They are not touching each other. Now that I figured out exactly how I would like everything to be laid out, 
I'm gonna go in with my E6000 glue, apply it to the bottom of the Jenga piece, and then sit it right back down on top of the glass. Take your time when doing this process just so that you can make sure that the edge of your Jenga pieces are laying flushed to the edge of the mirror. Now that all my Jenga pieces are glued down to my glass, I'm going to give it some time to dry. And then the fun part begins, you guys. It's time to decorate. And here is the finished result. I'm so sorry I lost the footage to me decorating um, the tray, but be innovative, tap into your creativity, and go for what you know, you guys. This was just the way I chose to do it. I went in with some diamond bling wrap and some of my flat back gems, and I dressed up my tray to my liking, and I absolutely love it. I also went in and added a little bit of jewelry to the feet of the elephant, just on one of them. I wanted to see how it would look and I'm gonna go back in and do the rest of them a little bit later today. I would suggest that if you're going to decorate your elephants to do it before you build your tray. That would have made this process a lot easier for me. But overall, I am totally in love with this piece. I cannot wait for my mom to see it. I know she's gonna love it. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share me with family friends. It was so awesome having you here with me today, all the way in Georgia. This has been a wonderful trip thus far, and I cannot wait to get started on tomorrow's project. I already have an idea of what I want to do, so make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification when the next one comes out. God is love. Good night. <laughs>